Hello you all happy people, hope you guys are doing great. Uh, today we are here in St. Lucia, deep sea fishing. Uh, it's so exciting and it's also scary, this is the first time doing it. So yeah, stay tuned guys. So we're trying to catch uh, bait fish now. And uh, yeah, it's been very long. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, thank you. All right, uh, it's 5.45 a.m. in the morning and uh, as you can see uh, we are on the way for our deep sea fishing experience so the person as you can see is driving his name is Mans. i'm gonna leave his details he's an amazing guy uh, his, his details were shared to us by the accommodation uh, receptionist and uh, it was very nice and uh, it was fantastic experience so there were quite few boats which are already lined up uh, for them to be launched into the sea so the launching was amazing. Unfortunately, I couldn't uh, get all the recording for our boat launch because it was quite scary and uh, it was quite hard and uh, rocky. Uh, as you can see, they pushed the boats into the sea and then, yeah, we, after that, it's all uh, to the engines. Our one was a bit hectic. As you can see, the, the waves were hectic. So, yeah, we actually <laughs> jumped around one feet or one and a half feet height <laughs> from our chairs when they launched us. And uh, yeah, but uh, it's an amazing experience. We really loved it. There you go. This is our launch. And as you can see, it's quite rocky. And then also just uh, going in a bit uh, deeper side. It's lovely, lovely scenic experience and uh, it was amazing. Really loved it. So what we did is uh, we went uh, most for a, a one, or, one and a half, two kilometers inside and then everybody was catching the bait fish. So what we found was uh, there was a school of mackerel and they're amazing. So we, we caught some bait fish uh, and then, yeah, uh, we kept it in a small tank, water tank, to keep them live. So as you can see, uh, Mons is setting up the hooks for the bait fishing. And this is the first time experience. Uh, and the f we went along, all the family and uh, my friend came along with his wife. Uh, yeah, that is the, that is the, a uh, tank where we caught the bait fish and kept them alive and Mount is filling them in. <clears throat> there you go. Uh, we're moving a bit uh, further and uh, just staying away from the rest of the crowd. Uh, so the, the, the teaching which we learned, I know this is the first time which we did uh, deep sea fishing, so Mount's was giving us instructions how to do the fishing and everything. I know a bit of fishing, but I'm not professional. <laughs> uh, so the way we need to find uh, the bait is, Mons explained us we need to be uh, very vigilant to see small ripples on, on the surface of the water. And then that's where you will see uh, the tiny fishes, the bait fishes. So, we're just trying to move away and there was a small school as you can see they're quite boats but then we moved to the other side and there we had found a, a big school of uh, the bait fish uh, the mackerels Mons is communicating with his friends uh, he's just asking uh, how the sea is, how if anybody has been, any information. There you go, Mons has uh, done his first casting. That's the family. Yeah, that's our first uh, bait fish. I just need to move away. <laughs> It's quite rocky, guys. Uh, it was not a pleasant, pleasant, pleasant uh, stay, but uh, yeah. 
the sea was uh, too harsh on us. So later he gave me a you know, choice, a chance to catch some uh, bait fish. So I did uh, catch them, and then uh, uh, we collected them, and then we had to move a bit deeper inside the, the sea to catch our main fishes. I believe in total we caught around 20, 25 or 30 bait fishes. I did not count them. There you go. It's my time. <laughs> Well, I did my best. I managed to catch few. Yeah, as you can see, like you know, I'm sitting and I'm standing because the board was rocking me so hard and uh, and I'm not used to deep sea fishing or like you know boat fishing so, but as you can see Mons, uh, Mons is, uh, uh, is an expert he's been doing this for the past uh, 35 years professionally and uh, he's been doing fishing from his childhood so he doesn't even bother <laughs> to hold his or anything like you know he's just standing his feet all the newcomers, uh, like you know, please be vigilant, please be careful. It's easy to overboard on the board from the board, and like you know, but uh, just be careful, guys. But it, it will be an amazing, amazing experience. Also, please don't forget your sunscreen lotions. It's very hot. I know it's early in the morning, I think it's almost uh, half past six by now, and then. It was hot, hot sun, and the sun was reflecting uh, uh, from uh, the sea, like from the, from the water, and then we are getting the straight sun from top. It was like a uh, very hot oven. Those are the two fishes uh, that uh, I managed to get from uh, the fishing. We caught, uh, we did not catch quite few. Then what we did is we went to some local fisher uh, and then uh, the person helped us to you know, scale the fish and then uh, like you know uh, cut them into fillets. But yeah, uh, what happened was uh, unfortunately I couldn't be able to capture the fishing itself. Um, family got started getting sick and uh, our trip was somewhere around five hours but we cut it short and then we had to return back after three or three and a half hours. So it wasn't a big catch for us. It was few of them. And I like, I really like uh, red slingers. So I took the red slingers and the rest of them, we just gave it away. And then, yeah, as you can see, is a professional guy. Uh, in St. Lucia, there's a place uh, where you can, fisherman's place where you can go, pay some money and then they will assist you with cleaning the fish and then scaling the fish and cutting them into fillets as you can see this guy is an expert is deboning them so yeah it was amazing and then once it's done we went and then i started prepping my food such an expert man he was an expert very friendly stuff very nice yeah all right guys it was a hectic hectic one uh we didn't catch much fishes so we catch few of them so i took a couple of uh, red slingers uh there you go so nicely done uh i will be showing the other one we also went to one of the local fishermen and uh, we requested him to like scale the fish and then debone it so nicely done as you can see. So today what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cook some potatoes, uh, spicy, spicy potatoes. I'm going to boil them uh, and uh, I'm going to use finely chopped. 
for adding those uh, nice uh, spiciness to it with some chili powder and some and then fish I'll keep it simple I'm gonna pan fry them and I've got parsley butter got some lime of some uh, finely chopped chilies and then I'm gonna use uh, garlic okay stay tuned guys I'll catch you later now Right, uh, the rice is boiling. Um, just want to add a bit of uh, turmeric on my potatoes. I'm gonna add a bit of chili powder. While they're boiling. So it gives a nice texture and uh, the whole point of me cooking spicy potatoes. So we are on a holiday, so I had to pack my all my spices. Alright? Tidy tidy as you cook. So the rice is almost done. I will give like a, a minute or so. The potatoes are half boiled, so that should be enough for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to strain them. Look at the potatoes. Very nice, eh? Alright, uh, I'm going to add some olive oil. I've got some uh, mustard seeds, jeera seeds, and some uh, lentils. It's a mixture uh, that the Indian guys most of the time they use before they cook any curry. I'm gonna give it a wait for uh, until I hear the sizzling, and then it's good that uh, I'm gonna add the onions. Uh, I've chopped the onions finely, so what happens is they become soft, they become caramelized and it will create like a very hard gravy, alright? Uh, I've got some curry leaves, the fresh one. Adding a bit of ginger garlic paste. Right, uh, I'm gonna add the spices now. I'm gonna start with some uh, shimmery. Very little bit. It's good. Turmeric is good. I'm going to add some uh, chili powder. Uh, it depends upon your spice levels, guys. This is very hot. Uh, the one who is taking the video, that's his. He eats a lot of spicy food. I'm adding some coriander powder. Uh, I'm gonna add, I've got a nice garam masala. I'm gonna add some garam masala. Just gonna use a quick splash of water to deglaze it. As you can see, I haven't uh, chopped them. I want to have the whole bit of them. Nice and spicy, hey? 
So it's almost done guys. So I'm um, adding the final touch. Just a little bit of salt. A bit more. And then uh, I'm gonna give it one more minute. And then um, this should be amazingly done. Just one minute and good. So I would like to give a shout out to uh, the family who joined me. Uh, so it's, uh, they got their own YouTube uh, vlog. So they do the vlogging uh, to help the people. Like, you know, we live in South Africa. So most of the time, uh, like, you know, they assist the people who would like to uh, come to South Africa, understand how do they live and uh, what would be the expenses and the uh, Showcase, like you know, what other places they have uh, South Africa. How beautiful is South Africa? So please check my description below. And their channel name is called South Africa Local Legal Mind. It's completely traditional and uh, local language to South India from my hometown. So big shout out to Ashwarya and Surya for South Africa Local Legal Mind. And they joined this uh, uh, adventure with us, and uh, we really had a good fun. Thanks to them. All right, uh, the spicy potatoes are done. I'm gonna switch off. Start with the nice, the fresh fish that uh, we caught today in the morning. Yeah, well, it's not a big catch, but it's first time. We enjoyed the experience. Well, uh, the ladies were a bit uh, seasick, experienced the seasickness, but it was good. It was good. Uh, overall, it's a good experience, and we really loved it. So I'm not gonna cook the fish too much. So I'm gonna glaze it with some nice olive oil, butter, uh, with uh, some. Uh, parsley butter and some uh, garlic I'm gonna add my twist spiciness so I've got some uh, sliced green chilies which gonna give this a kick and I'm gonna deglaze it with uh, a lime juice okay Let's start with it it should be a quick one not too much So I haven't coated the fish with anything, it's raw, fresh. I don't like to coat because I'm not frying it. So I'm just gonna pan sear the fish, okay? Always uh, the skin side going to be down. I hope it doesn't stick, but let's see. So I've got this uh, butter with some parsley, so I'm gonna add that. It's very low heat guys, keep it in very, very low, low heat. You don't want to burn your fish. And I'm adding a uh, finely chopped garlic. Garlic is must, right? And I'm going to add the chilies. nice. I can feel it, I can taste it. The smell is amazing. Alright, 
to the final touch. So as you can see, the fish is all cooked. Nice, nice, nice. Gonna be glazed with lime. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you very much. Right. I've got some rice. I'm gonna add potatoes. Some uh, Onions. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for uh, watching the video, guys. Amazing. Have a fantastic day.